everyone, I'm Lauren and welcome back to my channel. This is Light and Lavender where we talk about all things books and my own writing journey and today I'm going through my January TBR. So December was a bit of a write-off and I didn't really do much in terms of reading. I think I got through like four or five books didn't really stick to my TBR but this month I have got quite a few books out from the library surprise surprise so my TBR is mainly getting through these books and there's also a couple of other books that I've started that I'm gonna place on my TBR because I know that I will be reading them this month so I might as well the first book that I want to read in January is Vasonomics by Brian Dumaine this is a non-fiction book all about the rise of Amazon and how it's changed our lives and the influence it's had around the world and with like economies and things like that I remember seeing someone mention this, it came out last year, I think it was last year, it was 2020 or 2021 and I thought this looks like an interesting book to read. I was in the library looking for books on how to market and this was in the business section so I just thought I'd pick it up. I find non-fiction difficult to rate so I think this one will probably be like a four stars. I'm currently trying to set up a reading tracker for the year and the way it's done is mainly through fiction books so some of these I'm probably just gonna have to like negate out <laughs> and change how the score is done on it. I think this is probably gonna be a four star read, I think it's gonna be quite enjoyable and I do love looking into sort of research lens investigative journalism type books on the way the world's working and this is definitely going to be one of the ones that I think I will enjoy the most. The second book that I want to read this month is The Introvert Entrepreneur by Beth Bulow, I think is how you pronounce that. Um, like I said, I'm trying to find books on marketing because <laughs> marketing apparently is not my strong suit that I've realised and there wasn't really anything that I, like in the genre or area of marketing that I wanted to look at there's a lot of books that I've kind of browsed through before but I didn't find that helpful I thought this one might be quite useful I'm not a full introvert but I'm not completely an extrovert either I don't know if part of my issue is mild anxiety and social anxiety so maybe I'd be more of an extrovert if I didn't have that but I thought it'd be interesting to read this and see sort of an introverted point of view of how to be an entrepreneur and how to put yourself out there so I think this one's probably going to be around three to three and a half stars because I'm not entirely sure if I am the target audience for this so I will try and review this based on if I was but I would also give my opinion on if you're maybe not quite within this demographic how useful the information will be as well but I think it will be an interesting read but I'm not really sure on the usefulness of it. The third book that I want to read in January is Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger. This is going to be the first in a series. It's a middle grade fantasy I believe. I saw Chelsea from Chelsea Jow recommend this, I think it was last year, it might have been 2020. The past couple of years have blurred into one people and I'm not really sure when she recommended it but I've seen it on her channel and a couple of others and I thought this looks like one that I could potentially really enjoy. I found it on my library app, I need to read it in the next couple of weeks so that's gone onto my January TBR. I'm expecting this to be around a four to a four and a half stars. I'm not really sure fully on what I think but from the way people have described it and the sort of vibe and intention I'm getting from it from the previous reviews I've seen I'm expecting good things from it I just hope that I enjoy it as much as other people do. The fourth book that I want to read is To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini. I have wanted to read this since I heard it was coming out and I've just never really got around to it. I checked out my library app in December and there it was. I didn't have the chance to read it in December so I've managed to renew my loan of it and now I have to read it in January but it's around 800 to 900 words and I don't know how easy it is going to be for me to get through all of these. I think this is probably going to be about four and a half stars. I know this is a science fiction based in I think it's the fractal verse. I do follow Christopher's YouTube channel and also on the arrogant subreddit so I do see him mention it a couple of times but I'm not sure what I will expect from it I'm kind of hoping for good things I do enjoy science fiction I good, love a good space opera and that's the vibe I feel is coming with this book but because I don't know too much I don't know if it is going to be something I enjoy or something I don't enjoy if I do enjoy it I'm going to be a little bit sad but only because it means there's another series I need to try and get through at some point and I have got so many series that I need to get through and read. The fifth book that I want to read in January is 
12 months to a million dollars and I have forgotten the name of the author but I'll leave a picture of the cover here. This is an audiobook that Todd bought and because we share the same audiobook library I thought I'll give it a read. He said it was a good book and it was interesting so I'm just trying to understand the entrepreneur mindset behind it. To be honest I enjoy reading anything that is financial education or business related it's a little bit different from the fiction books that I read but I do enjoy looking into that side of the world it's not something that I usually come across so I always find it enjoyable to actually spend some time on there I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to enjoy this book because it seems to be very heavily focused on just saying create a product sell this many have it at this price point and you'll make a million dollars in a year so I feel like the information is really oversimplified so we'll see how it goes I think I'm about 20% through that book already and I'm already a bit mm, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this but we've got time to see if the book improves I think at the moment it's kind of like a three stars I think it's gonna be standard information nothing really out there that's exciting or different to anything else that I've heard before from podcasts or YouTube or blog posts or anything like that I think it's just gonna be a sort of generic this is what you need to do without any of the in-depth uh, pieces of information. One thing I have noticed with this book though is that it's saying to focus on yourself and to be aware that becoming an entrepreneur is a lifestyle choice and not just a job. It is something that you are going to be doing for maybe 100 hours a week. So if you do want to get into this sort of line of work, it's not an easy way to make money. It is something that you can have to put a lot of thought into. So I do appreciate that. So if that is balanced out with the more generic sort of information I think it will be an interesting one just to see his point of view but I don't think it's going to be anything that will blow my mind. The sixth book that I want to read in January is actually a small short non-fiction book but I have forgotten the name of it. It's something to do with how to use your white privilege as a way to combat against racism by June Sarpong. Again I'll leave a picture of the cover here I am currently reading it. I've been reading this for around three weeks although it's quite small and also really short it is really hard going I've actually decided I'm going to annotate this book so I've just been highlighting a lot and trying to digest the information fully I feel like this is a book that shouldn't be rushed through so I'm trying not to rush through it but that means it's taking a bit longer for me to just fully understand it I am partially tempted to do a full in-depth review of it but I'm not sure if that is the way to go with this sort of book but I am interested to see how this will challenge my thoughts and also give me more understanding of historical events that maybe I've brushed over in the past so I am enjoying it so far but it's definitely heavy going I think at the moment it's about four stars just because I don't know I just isn't I find that it's so difficult to give non-fiction higher than a four because it's for me a five star read is something that I'm like this is amazing everyone should go read it and although I feel this is a book that everyone should go and read it's not in the same sense so I don't know. Maybe it is a five star, I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure out how to rate fic uh, non-fiction books. So I currently have six books to get through in January. If I manage it, then it will probably be my best reading month in ages, uh, probably rivaling last January, which I think was seven books. But I am excited to get through all of these books and I've just realized there's quite a lot of non-fiction on this one. So <laughs> maybe the rest of the year will be more fiction light. I've also got a couple of ideas for different videos coming out this year I just need to plan and prep them all but it's taking a bit of time so I apologize for that but I'm hoping to have one of the ideas that I want up in the next week or so because that's going to become a monthly video that I definitely need to have sorted <laughs> before I can start doing the monthly ones and I really want to start it this year but I will go into more detail with that when it's actually done. Let me know if you have read any of the books that I have mentioned in this video there'll be links to all of them in the description down below so if you want to go and check any of them out you can do just to get a bit more of an idea of what the actual synopsis is for these because I am really bad at explaining books I've realised. If you like this video don't forget to give it a like and if you want to see more of my videos don't forget to hit subscribe there's a new one out every single week. I hope you're all well and you're all staying safe and until next time Bye!